So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a server with our server packs, um, talk about the world sharing and tell you about the easiest way to host, of course, is bisect hosting. Yes, I know it sounds advertising or whatever. Um, the easiest way to host a server, of course, is to host it on a server hosting website like bisect hosting. You can get 25% off with our code Luna Pixel. For example, you want to get 5 gig server, $22, 25% off is about $16. So, I mean, $16 a month for a Minecraft server. And you don't have to worry about any issues. It's online 24 7. They have great staff. You can ask anything. I mean, it's pretty good, I'd say. But that's the easiest way. And they had this new update about the their games control panel, Aurora update. Overhauled everything. Looks really cool. But. It's up to you. If you don't want that, I'll show you how to do a free server with our server packs. First, which mod pack are you, did you install? Which one you want to play? Which one you want to make a server on? Better Minecraft, I got installed here. BMC4 version 28, as you can see, it says version 28. So we look for that mod pack on CurseForge. This is one way to get the server pack. You go to the files, look for version 28. Go to additional files and then server packs right there. Click on that. It says server pack for version 28 and then click download. That should download the server pack for you. And while that's waiting, a different way to get the server pack is go to search your mod pack. I'm just going to click browse uh, the BMC4 mod pack right here. Right here, You can click download server pack. That's going to give you the latest one, which is version 28 right now. Right? I think so. You click that. That takes you to CurseForge and also um, in, uh, downloads the version 28 server pack right there for you. And that's another way to get the server pack. I'll show you how to do it on AT Launcher 2 maybe. We'll see. Now then that done downloading, we can minimize that, minimize this. Go to your downloads folder and go to the mod pack, I mean the server pack we just downloaded. Extract that. Click extract all, extract. You don't need any software for this. This is built into Windows. If you're Linux, Linux, I don't know. If you're Mac OS, I don't think this will work. This is for Windows, basically, I don't know. Now that that is finished um, extracting, you can close that. Uh, you probably don't want your server pack to be stayed in the downloads folder, so we'll just drag it to the desktop, the one you just extracted. The other thing files you don't need anymore. And now we can open this folder. There's your server pack. Um, I, I'm starting from scratch, so there's going to be issues happening that you probably will have, and I'll show you how to fix that the easiest way. Um, always open the README first. I'm just opening this to show you that if you're on Windows, uh, use the open the start.ps1 file. If you're on Linux, open the start.sh file. Do not use the .jar server if there is one. And these extensions might not show for you if you're on Windows, so you might need to go view... Um, I think show and then file name extensions. If you click that, that will show you the extensions. Now to run the server pack, of course, we need to open the start.ps1. To do that, we right click it, click run with PowerShell because that's what the file is and click open. It's going to instantly close. And that means this is usually for Windows 11 users. So I'll show you how to fix that. Open the readme. So this is important for us Windows 11 users if that occurs, how to fix it. To fix that, um, it's like an issue with PowerShell itself. So what we can do is open Windows key. Oops, I don't mean to edit that. Click Windows key or just click the, um, in your search bar or even on the start bar, it doesn't really matter. And then click PowerShell. Then you can click right click, run as administrator. Uh, this is all Windows programs. You don't need to worry about anything downloading and thing it's all on windows you copy it says to run this following command copy that paste this in press enter and then you agree say yes to all press a enter and now you agree to it i'm just pressing it again for no reason <laughs> um after agreeing with typing a you can run it again right click run as powershell and open if this closes again what you can do is it says here if one to five doesn't work, what you can do is running this following command with the file path. So open PowerShell again, right click run as administrator. Yes. Copy the command unblock file path, enter. Probably need a space after that, so enter space. And then what you do is you go to your start.ps1, 
file for the server pack, you right click copy as path and then paste it in here. Now what would we'll that would do, but it's going to unblock the file so you can run it. So now if I go after running that command, I go back to run with PowerShell, it opens. Wow, there's our server. That's right. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that because a lot of people have this issue that they don't know what to do. It's pretty easy. So now you probably also don't have Java installed. So we need to do that as it says here. Java is not recognized as an internal external command. So pressing the key to continue, it closes. Go back to the readme. At the top of the readme, it said for you to install Java so we can run the server. You should have done that. You should, you should have read the readme, man. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so copy the... Uh, so the reason there was a cut is um, we want to implement a new Java or something else that is much faster than the current one that we are suggesting in our server packs. So I'll be using that instead. Uh, currently, it's the uh, Ado Adoptium version that we were letting people download for Java to run the server packs. But now we have Cholb has made a uh, has gotten a new thing, Graal, that is much faster and better for performance. So, well, you can either install this Adopt Adoptium that is linked in our uh, readme, or I'll put this in the link in the description. Um, I'm going to be using this. Um, it's basically Java, but just better. Um, and then we, after downloading the Graal, you go to downloads, you right click it, click run a PowerShell, open. Of course, if it closes, you already know what to do, don't you? We did it. You run PowerShell as administrator. Unblock the file path. Uh, right click and copy as path, paste that in. Now it's unblocked. I can open this again with PowerShell. Enter your selection. I want B because we are doing 1.20.1. So newer. It's downloading the new Java right there for you. So this is a bit different than our previous things. As we always been, as I said, using um, adopt Adoptium. So we've always been using that to run, to install Java. Now we're using Grawl. Uh, which is a must, uh, it's, I guess you can interpret it as a enterprise version of open JDK. So it's, it just runs better and it's better for performance and you will see an increase in performance. Um, yeah, I'll wait for that to download and then we can run the server. After that's done, it's going to require administrative privileges and things will pop up. You can press Y there. If you don't like this, as I said, you can um, open this link and op uh, install it directly from um, Adoptium, the Java, if you want, if you trust uh, this website more. But the source code is here. Um, this is just, as we said, a, a different version of uh, OpenJDK. So it just runs better. It's much smoother. So it's up to you which one you want to choose. We recommend this one because it's going to be much more better for performance. So, yeah. And I'm doing it our way. So after that, press Y. Keep saying yes. And it will continue installing Java. Press any key to exit. We're done. Now, after, let's open this. After um, unblocking the file and installing Java, now we can right click, run it with PowerShell, and now it should run the server for us. Uh, this might seem like a lot of steps. It really is only like, it's really only one step or there shouldn't really be any steps at all. But Windows sometimes doesn't want you to run this file. So you need to unblock it. And most of the time, or well, most people don't have Java installed. So you have to install Java to run it because um, the server needs Java to run. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really easy to be honest, but it's also very inconvenient. And that's why people... Uh, switch to a server hosting website from the convenience 
and because that's oh that's um running 24 7 this one needs to run when you're online plus you need a good pc to run it or a semi good pc you just need something that has enough ram like 16 gigs so well this was uh, installing the server it's asking us to agree to the eula as every micro server does you type in i agree press enter it's going to keep installing while that's installing we might as well open the mod pack so we can do that in the meantime while this is running the server as you can see right now it's preparing spawn which mean it means it's almost uh, ready for for you to jump into the server, basically. So ignore that it's a lot of zero percents. Then it jumps to sixty eight. It doesn't matter. And there we go. It just finished the server. As you can see, it says done right there. Server is done. Uh, setting up now. Your server is ready to go. And um, while we wait for this, oh, I didn't press play. Dumbass. So while we uh, wait for the Modpack to load, I'll show you how to join. And now that it's done loading, you can maximize it like I did here. You go to multiplayer, and for some reason, on I don't know why, on uh, specifically on Forge, uh, this pops up when you when you load a world like this. When you make a, uh, your server, this pops up. You can join your server via this, or you can click add server, type in local host. And done your server will pop up there telling you it's version 28 you're both in version 28 and you're ping and whatever and then you can join here I th I'm not sure if you can join here I haven't really tried but let's join our server via local host and while it's loading if you want to make yourself operator give you admin permissions you type in into the PowerShell op space your username enter and that will give you server operator which means now i can go in game and go into creative mode by default you're not operator no one can get um have access so now you're in the mod pack and on your server and for your friends to join um you either you need you need to either Give them your IP address or IPv4 address um, for them to join. And if that doesn't work, then you have to do port forwarding, which is a whole nother thing that you can have to figure it, your, out yourself because there's so many ways to do it. There's so many ways it can go wrong, it can go right. It works or it doesn't work. That's up to you how to get that working. So, yeah. So... Um, I open an, uh, a second instance here to show you how world sharing works. So what you do is join a single player world uh, on your PC. And then you click open to LAN. Keep in mind that sharing your world will have more latency and potential performance issues when using a server. Um, this is the easiest way to get your friends to play. But it's all, of course not always the best way to really do it. LAN hosted worlds are also very un unreliable, inconsistent with mods as they are not meant to be used for LAN. So what you do is to, uh, to share your world with friends, you click the share world button, then you get this, um, this IP here. You copy this IP by left clicking it and you give this to your friends to join your world. So what you do, what your friends do is click multiplayer. You can ignore that. Oh, let's delete that for a sec. Click add a server paste in your IP that I that you got here and then your server should be right here for your friends to join and they can join by clicking that and as you can see my other account joined right there where is he here's my other guy busy spawning in with brothers as you can see <laughs> and there you go now both oh what the hell we're both here and that's how you wall share with your friends um my ping is very much uh bad because i'm in australia so my ping's not going to be very good but yeah this is the easiest way not the best way issues can happen but if you want to play fast and easy with friends you can wall share if you don't have the bunny, 
for Bisect Hosting or any other uh, server hosting company, um, then what you can do is, of course, host your server via our server packs for free. Um, the only problem is getting set up is not that hard, but the problem is the IP. The IP address can either work or it won't work. You can search your IP address on the internet and give that to your friends to join. But the main problem is not everybody has their ports open, meaning not everybody can just copy and paste their IP address to join their uh, friend's world or friend's server that is currently also running, as you can see. That is a whole nother matter that you're going to have to figure out yourself how to um, allow people to join via IP. And this is why people don't tend to do the server packs because it's too, it's just, it's, it's, inconvenient and that's why people do server uh, hosting websites but if you want to do wall sharing it's there um, if you want to support us do bisect we really appreciate it and that should be the, the video i think actually one thing i'm gonna close the one instance you can also make a, a server with at launcher so what you can do is you go to packs or maybe servers now. You go to packs, you go to the mod pack. So of course ours is BMC4 version 28 right there. And you can click the create server button. And then click install. That will download the server pack for you. And also you can gonna run the server. So basically instead of installing the server pack from CurseForge and running it this way, you can just run it on AT launcher. So after the server, uh, the create a server is done, it will tell you this, press okay, go to servers. And then now you can click launch and that's gonna launch the server for you. Um, if there's issues, it's most likely is going to be Java or some other issues, which we showed you how to fix uh, in the previous things. If you want better performance, of course, you can change the Java that, um, that Minecraft uses here, but that's up to you how you want to do that. This is basically doing the same thing as our server pack, but just installing it through AT Launcher, which is also much easier if you don't want your server files to be gained from CurseForge. But as the same as our server pack, you agree here to the EULA, and then we'll wait for the server to start. As you can see, it's showing the percentages, which means it's almost ready and done as it did on our server pack previously. Now that the server is ready, as you can see, uh, it finished here through the server is running through AT Launcher right now. Um, you also do the same, go multiplayer. We can delete that, that's the old thing. It's It was the same thing, but we'll just show you again, local host, type that in server address and done. For your friends to join, you need to give you your IP address. And the problem with that is not everybody IP addresses, uh, ports are open, meaning not everybody's going to be able to join your server. So you're going to have to figure that out yourself. This is why people do bisect hosting, or I mean, this is why people do server hosting much more convenient, much easier, just much better. Um, and if you don't want to do that, there's a quick way, uh, world sharing and I'm pretty sure that should be it. That's all the ways for you to get a server. And I appreciate if you want to help support our studio, use code Luna Pixel at Bisect. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.